Hey guys, I just want to quickly show you why it's really important that you change your helmet every five years or so, no matter what you've been doing with it. It doesn't matter if it's been sitting on a shelf. It doesn't matter if it's been sitting in a store unbought for five years. Here's why. Helmets are a very complex creation with a lot of different materials in them. Some a lot more permanent than others. This is my helmet from 2006. It has a date code of November 2006. So it's approximately eight years old. It is a very, very clear example of everything I'm going to talk about here. The shell itself, outside, may look absolutely perfect. This is a great looking helmet. Never been crashed, never been dropped, not a scratch on it, just lots and lots of normal use. Worked great. But after aging, it is completely deteriorated. Started off by just feeling a little firm in the padding. You know, the foam that goes on top of your head inside the helmet didn't really feel that comfy. Well, that's because it breaks down. Not only it, but the foam underneath it, the styrofoam inside that comprises a lot of the body of the helmet breaks down with age. There's nothing you can do about it. It's a chemical and physical process. And what I did is I took out the top lining here so you could see it. And I had to do that because in this particular model, they weren't yet removable or washable, which was a big design flaw back then. These days they fixed that problem. But what you'll see here, this is the inner lining that is on the top. I'm going to be careful not to make a huge mess here because this foam literally falls apart. It is just, it's like confetti disintegrates. It's like sugar. It's like powdered sugar. The bigger pieces that are underneath that, while they aren't disintegrating, they are very, very soft, almost liquid-like. Absolutely no cushion, no protection. And then the main foam that comprised all the padding is just gone. It's dust, literally dust. The fabric itself, rags. Just thin, terrible rags. And that's all of the foam in the, in the entire helmet. Just disintegrated. Simply from age. Just sitting here. Done. There's obvious signs of wear on the leather parts of the helmet. And while that is mostly aesthetic and cosmetic, it is a sign that everything else in here is just done. You can see every bit of foam. Here's the, the thicker padding in the back here. I can run my finger over it, and it just tears apart like Play-Doh. The entire helmet has broken down. Can't be saved, just needs to be thrown out or put on a shelf, cleaned up, whatever you want to do with it, but never use it again. It is no longer a safety helmet. It is simply a memory. So treat it that way. If you're like me and you're spending four fifty five hundred on a helmet, that means you're spending a hundred bucks a year on your helmet cost. So budget that in. If you're like my wife and you're just a very occasional passenger, your helmet's going to be 130, 140 bucks, a lot less annual cost, but you still have to budget that in. Make sure that you remember when your timestamp is. It's always going to be on the inside of the helmet. You might have to lift up your foam to see it, but it's always going to have a date stamp stuck in there. So do what you have to do to remember that. And just like checking your tires or replacing your tires, tires are the same way. It doesn't matter if you use them or not. After a certain date, you have to replace them, okay? The rubber breaks down. Helmets are exactly the same way. So just a safety tip there. Hope I helped. Hope I showed you clearly what happens. And uh, it's not just a sales pitch to get you to buy more helmets. They really do break down. There's nothing you can do to save it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.